welcome back students uh, as you know we have started the bridge course on html so today we are going to see about the html okay so what is the main objective of this today's lesson is first we will see the origins and evolution of html how the html is started okay and we will see the history okay and we will see the history of html how it is uh, like uh, why we are using when it is started okay we will see that and after that we will see how to write html code okay in your computer okay next is basic syntax what are the basic syntax for writing the html code wherever you will go you will get the syntax syntax is nothing but like a rules like a basic rules you must follow that next standard html document structure means whenever you are writing the html code there should be a standard html document structure based on that only if you miss anything which is including in the standard html document structure then your document will not display properly okay next html tags category this is very very important because html will work on tags and the, there are different types of categories are there based on that tags are there and you can use that okay and we will see today basic tags okay like paragraph html head title okay some of the tags we will see and we will do the practical session okay we will do practical how to write the html code and how to save the document and how to view your web page okay so today we are going to see all of this thing one by one so the first thing is origin and evolution from where it is started the first point is html what is it stands for html html is a hypertext markup language this is a markup language what which means it is used to mark parts of document to indicate how they should appear in print on a display means in the simple words markup language is nothing but to display or to print on the page okay to display on the screen how uh, it should be displayed document or page so here this is uh, like uh, meta markup language this is very important previous one before the html it was a standard generalized markup language okay and standard generalized markup language is a international standard organization standard notation for describing information formatting language why we need to use this kind of things this is a standard because when we uh, when we have a browser like google chrome firefox safari uc browser these all are the browser where the website will display on the browser so if they follow the standard then it will be easy for the developer to design the web page okay so this is all are the standard generalized markup language and the current version of html is html5 okay there are so many versions are there we will see in the history of html okay so this is a simple like uh, thing the introduction of html okay how why we need to use the html like this is a markup language that is to display or print and this is a meta markup language standard generalized markup language okay and this is international organization international standard organization standard notation for describing information formatting languages how should be display on the website that will be in the form of in uh, like uh, that should be in a information formatting language that is international standard organization okay 
and the current version is HTML5. Next. So this is the history of HTML. How, when it is started? It is started in 1991. Okay. The first one. Then the in version. It's changed to 2.0. That is 1995. And in HTML 3.2, that is started in 1997 okay and HTML 4.01 is started in 1999 and XHTML what is XHTML is extensible hypertext markup language that is 1.0 and is increased and in 2002 to 2009 XHTML 2.0 was started okay so here after HTML 4.0 was released focus shifting to XHTML and its stricter standard okay so from HTML is changed to XHTML okay then after XHTML 2.0 has even strike standard then 1.0 rejecting web page that did not complete it fell out of favor gradually and was abandoned completely in 2009. Okay. HTML5 is started in 2012. HTML5 is much more tolerant and can handle markup for all the previous 3 hour version. So this is a very good uh, thing now. Okay, HTML5, the current version is HTML5 and in this there are so many new features are there that also we will see. Okay, HTML5 has so many features like you can add the video, you can uh, add the audio and uh, you can add the animation there are so many things new tags are there okay so this is about the history of the HTML it is started in 1991 and it still is going on there are so many versions are there then in 2012 it started the HTML5 okay so this is about the history of HTML so here how to write HTML code okay you no need to download any kind of software if you are going first time if you are going first time you no need to download any kind of software to write the html code simply if you have a windows operating system in the step one windows operating system windows 7 then you need to go to the start button go to the programs and go to the accessories and there you can find notepad okay here or if you have a windows 8 operating system okay operating system or windows 10 or anything there is open the start screen that will be available at the left side okay the window symbol at the bottom left on the screen your screen and type notepad I will show you practically this okay so this is step one first you open the notepad then step two write the HTML code whatever the code you have HTML code that you need to write here okay then afterwards step three save the file with the extension of dot html so whatever the file name you are giving the extension should be dot html and select save as type is all file example index dot html okay and save type is all file then after saving the file you should open that file in the browser any browser internet explorer mozilla firefox google chrome uc browser you can use any browser and that should be support the html code okay 
so here before going to the next slide syntax first I will show you how to uh, start this notepad okay so here when you go to your window okay then here in the down at the left side you will see the start button okay and I am going this windows 8 okay click here and type start typing what n o t e p a d when you type notepad it will show you like this then click here notepad is open so here you need to write html code okay here you need to write the html code clear then i will show you after writing the html code i will show you how to save the file okay so this is the thing how to open the window notepad okay then after writing the html code you can save the file dot html and you can view the file in the browser so why i am sh uh, showing you the notepad because whenever you install the windows 7 or windows 8 or any windows operating system in that by default notepad will be available by default when you install the operating system notepad will also install in your computer okay so now the next is basic syntax or basic rules okay so what is the HTML HTML is a uh, like a tag okay this HTML is tag so in purely in HTML we will say about the tags the syntax of the tag is the tags name surrounded by angular brackets how we will write the tag that should be angular bracket like this okay and tag name must be written in lower case that is very important okay whenever you are writing lower case is nothing but a small letter okay in alphabet we will have a small letter capital letter so lower case is small letter okay like here it's written a b c or a and a and so most tags appear in pairs this is very important an opening tag and closing tag, tag in the html this is a opening tag okay like i am considering remember i am taking one p p is a paragraph tag you are going to learn in the next slide so just i am taking the P, okay and here whatever the tag you will open this is I open open the tag and closing the tag should be with the slash closing closing tag opening tag how can you identify which one is a opening tag and which one is a closing tag is in the opening tag you will not get any slash just we will have like example p this is a opening tag okay and here is slash p that means this is a closing tag so this is a pair what it is telling pair so whatever the tag you will open that should be close okay so that the name is opening tag and closing tag the name of the closing tag as i shown you this slash that should be slash whatever the name like p and there are so many tags are there when we do the practice then you will going to understand this opening tag and closing tag remember this closing tag has the slash an opening tag does not have anything okay it does not have anything. next 
For example, if the tag name is P, its closing tag is slash P, these things. Whatever the example just now I told you, the same thing. This is a syntax. Okay. Whatever appear between a tag and its closing tag in the content of that tag means whatever you want to write between these two tags. Okay. Hello. Okay, hello. So whatever you will write between these, that is a content or we can say element. Okay. So this is the basic structure or sorry, basic syntax. Okay. You need to remember this thing. Means whenever you open the tag, that should be closed. So here the structure of the HTML document that is first. In every document, whenever you are writing the HTML code, this all the things must be available in your document. Okay. First thing, document type HTML. Browser should know why we need to write this. Browser should know what kind of document you are opening in the browser. So if you write the document type HTML, it will identify the is this is a HTML file okay next and here sometime this is called comment this is nothing but comment means file name and document purpose like whatever if you write the code if may forget so this is especially for the developer those who are developing the web pages or website for them this comment will be comment will be helpful for them when they see they can easily identify why I am writing this code so after understanding the document like what kind of document it is so developer will understand this the next important thing is HTML can you see this is HTML opening tag so there should be a closing tag so can you see here this is closing tag and whatever the code you want to write any kind of code any kind of tag that should be inside the HTML code so this is very very important HTML, whatever the code you are writing, that should be inside the HTML tag. Okay. Inside the HTML tag, that is nothing but this is the opening tag. Okay. And this is closing tag. So this is about the opening tag and closing tag. So here the important part is head. Okay here head should be there in HTML document in the head we will see the title this is opening tag we will see this is a opening tag and this is closing tag as we studied the tag name should be in a lower case tab, tab name should be in a lower case so here title and here the title okay and meta character utf8 this will be help the browser to easily understand and it will convert the your language in machine language okay like example computer will understand the binary language so whatever you are writing here whatever you are doing here that will convert in the machine code and it will give you the answer okay it will display the result if you mention this then the browser will easily understand the first thing is you can opening the tag and closing the tag some of the tags they don't have or if you don't want to if you don't have any kind of elements like take the example of meta character 
UTF slash. That means in the opening tag only we can click uh, create closing as well. This is also a valid. Okay. Or you can take meta slash. You can create like this or you can do like this. Create and this is head opening tag and the closing tag so this will not display on the website this will be helpful for the uh, browser to identify what is the head of the body okay and here the body now in the body whatever you are going to write all command uh, commands like uh, or we can say tag whatever the tags you will write between this body that will display on the internet display on the browser okay so this is a standard HTML document structure so this is a structure whenever you are writing the HTML code you must you must know the structure of the document okay this, this is a standard html document structure next we have the some of the basic category okay or uh, we can say this is a html tag category so first will be like uh, basic html and we will have the formatting like changing the color making font big color bold okay and form and input means you can create the label you can create the button you can create the text box okay that all will come under in form and input frames frames means if you have a multiple page and you want to display on the one page so that is also a possible with the help of frame and image like if you want to insert the image from your computer to your website so image tag will be helpful for you for inserting the image and here if you want to add the audio video from your computer so you can add with the help of audio and video tags links if you want to give the link directly to the web browsers or if you want to give the link to any other file so with the help of link you can give the link and we have the list like when you make a website then you will get the two types of list one is ordered list another one is unordered list okay so ordered list is nothing but it will be like one two three so like this one can you see this bulleted point this is called unordered list this is not in the form of order so order is nothing but in place of this dot it will be one two three four five six or maybe a b c or roman number one two three anything will be there that is called uh, ordered list okay tables like how to create the table how to insert the row in the table how to create the column that all will come under in table so here the next one is style and synthetic like how to give some style to your text like in the good format okay so you can give that and meta information this will be helpful for the browser for the user for uh, for the search engine for the database that will be helpful for your website should be display in front if they want to search directly your page will be display on the first and there is a, some of the programming like scripting the things are there like with the help of that you can give some scripting language that is a programming okay so this is a html tag categories this is some of the things are there based on this we need to based on your requirement you you, you need to use from this category okay so here the basic tag what is the basic tag 
in the basic tag as i shown you document type document type is it will define the document whatever the document is there html xml or any other language okay and what is the html tag this is tag this all are tag html head body tag whatever it is written in the angular bracket that is called tag okay now define an html document next head contain metadata information for the document so whatever the metadata is there information for the document that it store in the head title define a title for the document define the type define a title for the document you need to define the document name like what is this first page or uh, student name student detail marks detail first website anything that should be a title body define the document body means you need to define the body in such a way that when they visit the web site they will see the related information okay the next is paragraph the paragraph is nothing but like how to write the paragraph in the programming so that is opening tag and closing tag opening tag and closing tag paragraph whatever you will write here okay that will be display on the website okay next line break line break is nothing but br that should be from here directly it will come here next line okay that is called break line or line break and that will be represent as br slash okay and here horizontal rows is hr like this you will get the line when you write in html code so here the next is head tag okay contain metadata information for the document okay so as i told you this will be help the browser to work smoothly okay the next one is title title is very very important because at the top page when you see on the browser when you open the browser on the website whenever you go to the website on the title bar you will see the name of the document okay name of the document that is very important okay based on that you can easily identify what kind of document is it or what kind of website fine i will show this body body is the contain what the thing you want to display on the web page okay define the document body so whatever the body whatever you want to display on the uh, website for the users that will be visible uh, with the help of body tag okay and the paragraph tag is very basic tag paragraph that should be opening tag and closing tag this is very very important opening tag and closing tag line break line break does not uh, have the opening tag and closing tag there should be a br slash and same way, same thing horizontal rule hr slash like this if you want this kind of line so you can use horizontal rule to do the separate between the two paragraphs or two answers or anything clear if you write the paragraph here you can use the hr then again p slash p then uh, in the second paragraph between the two paragraph you can use the horizontal line and one of the important thing is heading also heading there are the six headings are there h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 okay where h1 specify the highest level that means if you use the h1 tag automatically it will take the text it will take the font size like a big basic tag is written here in the form like big 
here can you see little bit small so in that way h1 h2 s3 so h1 is a biggest text okay biggest heading among these all headings so this is a basic tag okay and now we will go to the practice practical session okay so here once again i will show you whatever we have uh, done here uh, i will show you okay first thing okay the first thing is i will close this first thing is so here first thing is minimize this minimize this first of all you should open the notepad okay we need to follow this how to start click start button and write here n o t e p a d notepad and click here the notepad will open here okay then here you need to write the html code so as you know before writing the html code you must have to do the structure okay first you need to create the html structure so opening tag not doc type doc type is html first thing okay i hope you remember this this one i am talking about this one okay i am talking about this one structure okay first thing next is if you want a comment if you want to write the comment exclamation mark shift plus 1 then you will get the exclamation mark and here you need to write two hyphen and here i will write first page okay first page of html and here should be two hyphen okay and greater than symbol so this is a command and this will okay this will not display on your web page this is for the developer those who are writing the code for them for understanding purpose okay first thing is the document type browser will uh, recognize this is a html code then second is the comment what are you doing so here first html html is a opening tag press the enter and give some space and write html closing tag okay like as i shown you here html and opening tag and closing tag okay so here in this you can use like this language is english you can use like this l a n g is equals to e n english okay if you want to write you can write like this otherwise by default it will take the english because whatever the operating whenever you install the operating system based on that it will take english okay so here language is english en okay and the html so let's move on next what is the structure next one is head whenever you open the tag you must close the tag why should i need to open and close the tag if you did not close the tag it will not show you the error you need to recognize then it will be a difficult for you to recognize the error okay so based on that if you have some knowledge about the html then you can easily recognize the 
errors but it will not show the errors html will not show the error you need to identify after seeing the web page okay so i created the head what is after head title can you see this title title is there so i am writing title opening tag and closing tag okay opening tag and closing tag so i am writing here first page okay first page where it will be display i will show you okay so this is finished now what is the structure next is body opening tag sorry and slash body closing tag okay so this is can you see here if you want to write this beta character utf8 if you want to write you can write this and this should be right in the head only okay fine if you want to write you can write so here the next is body so whatever the structure that all the points are covered like document type okay html opening tag and closing tag head opening tag and closing tag title opening class and uh, opening tag and closing tag and body is also opening tag and closing tag now now we will go with next option write the html code we have finished writing the html code now save the file the important thing is how to save the file good i am not writing anything in the body to show you after writing then it will change so here go to the file and click the save button when you click the save where do you want to save the file first question okay where do you want to so i will do one thing uh fine no problem so i can save in the document in the document i selected the location where do you want to save first you need to select the location then after that give the file name what is your file name i am giving first page okay when you are giving name first page don't give a space first page in place of that you can write underscore page or you can mix it first page don't give the space okay first page dot html first page dot html and what is the save as type there should be all files every time you need to select all files so whenever you save the file you must know where are you saving the file and you have to give the file name dot html okay and uh, you need to select the save as type is all file save when you save file is save so now you need to go to your location where is your location document in the document what is the my file name my file name is first page can you see the file name first page and this is in the form of google chrome okay this is in the form of google chrome so right click open with google chrome or internet explorer or microsoft edge so i am opening google chrome see my website is visible here but nothing is here only blank white page can you see here the first page how the first page is coming whatever you are going to write in the title that will be displayed in the heading 
in the title bar okay so this is about the simple structure okay and here now we will use the basic tags okay so basic tag we will use paragraph okay so here before going to the paragraph we will see the heading tag heading okay let me write h1 opening tag and there should be a closing tag whatever you are opening h1 that should be closing tag and here i am writing this is my first page okay this is my first page this is h1 i am modified here okay and i am saving the file save okay then go back to the browser okay if you open the file then just click refresh see this is my first page when you do refresh whatever the modification you will do here that will reflect here okay like see again i am writing the heading 2 h2 this is my first page slash h2 okay now i am not saving can you see the star here i am not saving the file but i am going here and refresh i am not getting because i did not save the file whenever you do any modification you should go to file save okay save the file and come back to here in your browser refresh see h1 is a big one h2 is little bit small okay now just write the h3 this is my first page and here h3 so here you can do the refresh it will not come because i did not save this file so file save okay and i am closing this because you may get confused so i will again go back to my document where my file is there is first page open see the three things are there h1 h2 and h3 okay in the same way in the same way h4 how many headings we have we have six headings page slash h4 in the same way h5 this is my first page h5 okay h6 this is my first page h6 so i have written the six heading tags okay and here you can write the command if you want heading tags heading tags so let's see this will not display here because we have written the body tag in body tag only but it will not display here because we have written in the comment so here h1 s2 s3 go save and come here and refresh see this is my first page this is my first page small 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 s6 is very very small clear so this is about the html tag okay in the same way in the same way like uh, you can give some paragraphs in each heading like write p slash p you can write this is my first page and i i am using notepad for 
creating the web page i wrote something here okay and i will save file save and here come back and refresh see this is my first page and i am using notepad so whatever you will change here that will reflect here clear so this is about the some of the basic tags okay so basic tag is paragraph and we will see the line break and horizontal line break is after this paragraph if i want horizontal line slash okay you can give the space also no issues so here go back to your page and see horizontal line okay if you want to give horizontal line to all of them so just hr slash okay and you can do the copy and you can do the paste also okay and you can write here also no issues clear no need to take uh, do enter and this after finishing this tag you can start the new tag okay let's save this file save come back here and refresh see so you can give the horizontal line like this okay so and the next one is the last one is break okay if i use this is my first page i am deleting and and here i am writing br br because i want this i am using notepad for creating the web page this should come in the next line for that i am doing the break file save refresh see this is my first page i am using notepad for creating the web page so this is a simple basic thing for writing the code okay you also do the practice and uh, for today's session we will stop here because this is enough in the next class purely we will work on the practical we will use the different tags like as i mentioned you like different tag categories we will see the basic tag formatting tag okay this tags we will do on one of the file okay and one more thing i want to clear you you can write the html code in notepad this is a basic thing and for creating the website there are so many so many uh, softwares are there like eclipse notepad plus plus so that also you can use but for the initial in the basic starting you can use the notepad okay so this is about the today's le lecture okay so in the today's lecture we saw about the html tags basic tags and we saw the structure we saw the basic syntax and we saw how to write the html code and how to start the not notepad okay so in the next class we will see the practical session on other tags whatever in we have okay so do the practice and uh, thank you okay we'll see you in the next class